Hello friends and welcome back to Flavors of Mother Sakhwan. Today I have a wonderful recipe to share with all of you. It's called the Chetpata Spicy Chicken Masala. Now before I begin to begin with the recipe, I have a request from all of you. Kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, do give, the thumb, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. And let's start with the recipe now to make this recipe i'm taking a saucepan i'm taking in a half a cup of water in this and i'm going to boil in uh, one tablespoon of coriander seeds along with a couple of whole red chilies this is not a couple these are four and five which are broken into small pieces and then i'm going to add in one teaspoon of white vinegar i'm going to let this mixture boil and cool first i'm going to let it boil and then i'm going to let it cool and then i'm going to grind this and while my mixture was boiling and cooling i'm going to start preparing the dish so i'm taking a quarter cup of oil in a frying pan i'm going to add in two large sliced onions and i'm going to fry it until the eastern golden brown in color now at this point my mixture had boiled and cooled down and I'm just going to add it in a jar and I'm going to grind it. Yeah. Pull it on and grind it. Basically I'd like also from all of you to know to let me know how you all are dealing with the current situation We have lockdown everywhere due to coronavirus And here in Kuwait we have a curfew Which is from 5 p.m. to 4 a.m. Okay, coming back to the recipe uh, uh, I'm going to add one whole garlic to this mixture and four to five uh, green chilies or as much as much spice as you can handle into this and I'm going to grind this mixture again into a smooth paste like this if you ever thought of making a chutney this could be a really good chutney if you add a little bit of salt it this itself made uh, tasted really nice so this paste will go in the chicken when I start cooking it so here my onions have fried these are golden brown. This is a beautiful color, and I'm gonna add in my one kilo of a uh, one kilo of boneless chicken, which I have cubed into small cubes. I don't. I like small cubes, bite size. It's, these are not even. These are smaller than bite size. I prefer that way, that way, but it's not important. That's not necessary. It can be of any size. I'm gonna add in the mixture that I had prepared. And I just grind it to this, as you can see. I've adjusted my camera to get a better view of this and I'm going to start mixing it. And this is how it looks. And here, this is tomato paste that I'm adding to this. It's just because I did not have uh, tomatoes to this. But if you have tomatoes, you can add two large tomatoes to this instead of tomato paste. So this is a 135 gram box. It's a small box of tomato paste. I'm adding the whole a box into this uh, in in difficult times like this my tomatoes were over and I couldn't really order anything even from the grocery store so I had to use what it was available to me so I have added tomato paste but of course like I said you can add two large tomatoes instead of this small box of tomato paste Next, this is a lemon syrup box uh, that I'm taking a bottle of lemon syrup and I'm adding lemon uh, juice to it. Basically, you can say squeezed lemon, but if you're t using a uh, fresh lemon, you can take, uh, I think one lemon would be enough, one little big lemon, which if you can get two tablespoons of, uh, of uh, lemon juice. Now I'm adding my spices, red chili, cumin powder and black pepper powder to this and I mix it and saute this point these are the only spices that will go inside in this dish saute it well and this is 
yogurt, one cup. And this is Greek style yogurt. And so I don't have to whisk it. But if you're using normal yogurt, you it's better that you whisk the yogurt before you add it to the curry so that it does not curdle. Because a curdled uh, yogurt does not really look nice in a dish. That's the only reason why you will have to whisk it before you add it to the dish. Now this is just the water that was um, in the jar, in the mixy jar from the masa that I had, I had just grinded. I'm just added water to that and I'm just adding the same water here. Again, water you can adjust as per your um, requirement. I'm, I have added uh, around a cup of water and I'm going to basically cover this pot and let this cook for around 15 to 20 minutes. And you can see after adding enough water, this is how it's looking. And I'm going to cover this, like I said, I'm going to cover this and let it cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, this is how you can see the oil has um, separated and it's floating on top. And this is this means that this dish is actually ready almost. And the final garnish is I have taken around um, three to four. I have taken four green chilies. You can it, there is no set number. It's as much as you you want to add. It's basically well, for it to look nice and and these chilies are not really hot, so it's it's okay. And it tastes really good. Add in uh, coriander leaves. These are a bunch of which I had chopped. And lastly, add in one inch of ginger. This is julian I'm adding on top. This ginger julian gives amazing, amazing taste. I mean, it enhances the taste of this dish to another level. So this is my dish is ready. I'm just covering it for two minutes for to let all the flavors infuse of the coriander and of the green chilies and of ginger and this is the final look of my dish this is an absolutely delicious dish i had to keep make this keeping in mind the resources that i had i was not i was out of fresh tomatoes and fresh lemon so i used what was available in my house and i'm sure that all of you are also doing the same i hope you will try this recipe it is absolutely delicious it was really really nice it was really chatpata it was really spicy it was really wonderful thanks for watching i hope you like this video and please share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day